Welcome to another Robot Adventures review. Today we got the Alternity Thundercracker joint review with uh, SSJ. Uh, ship for brains, dumbasses, stupid people, stop watching, everyone else check it out. <laughs> they going? Alright, welcome to another Robot Adventures review, joint review today, this time with, uh, oh, let me show you. That guy, I just showed your screen. Howdy, howdy. Hey. So, we just finished, uh, our joint review on SSJ's page, and it's, yeah, uh... I was looking at it, that, that fucker's gonna be a three-parter. <laughs> <To me. laughs> 40 minutes on that thing. <laughs> it's 10... 25 a.m. What time is it over there? Um... 9.25. 9.25 p.m. In the p.m. So... <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> tell tell the fans what you're drinking there. I'm drinking um, 1800 silver tequila cocktail <laughs> with some orange juice. <laughs> and uh, are you a big drinker, SSJ? No, 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 no. I don't drink much at all. Like, like I told you earlier, I I can count in the past year uh, how many times I drank in in one hand. I'll probably still have like two or three fingers left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking uh, you need to take it slow on that guy, but <laughs> yeah, mmm, mmm. I cranked up the boy. Be careful, dude. All right, so we got the alternative. What was that? Yeah, it's gonna put you down, man. Yeah, it is. We got the. Well, that's all right. Nice. You know what? I, I, I put in two, two, well, a shot and a half of gin, two shots and a half, so three shots of gin and a shot of um, apple and grapefruit and that one. So I'm drinking gin, apple, and grapefruit. I don't know what the name of that is called, but, so I, I had one of these earlier with SSJ on his video. And so I'm only, you know, that much into it. But uh, let's check out Thundercracker here. Dun, 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 dun. I'm digging that blue paint job on there. Yeah, it's very metallic, isn't it? It's very Thundercrackery. Uh, I got the Skywarp a while ago, and that was the first alternative figure I ever mm -hmm. done. Huh. And I was, uh, I was really impressed with it. You know, it's the Skywarp figure is very delicate. I think. I mean, compared to the, uh, I'm trying to shake this out of the fucking, it's like taking a shit. You know, just so long come out. You know, you know when you have, you know, there was one TV show. I don't know if you remember. It was based loosely on X Men. And there was, and I think they had some problems with X Men or something like that. It was about, it was on TV. It was about mutants. It was like a mutants at school. Do you remember that X Factor or something like that? That TV show, long time was ago, it ten years ago or something. Was it a cartoon? No, 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 no. It was a, a live, live thing. And it came out around the time X Men came out, I think. And. Uh, and there were, I'm thinking that was a TV show, but uh, one of the things they said <laughs> was like, oh, I, they, the, the teenagers couldn't control their power, so the, the teacher was like, you know, you have to concentrate and relax at the same time. And they said, it's like going oh. to the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, that always, uh, that always like, stuck in my head. Like, yeah. It's it's, and relax about 20 minutes ago. There's right. <laughs> you gotta concentrate and relax, so focus yeah. the shits out of your ass. I think the end is supposed to pop up, but I'm not sure how to get that to pop up. Is that supposed to pop up? Maybe so. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I'm going to zoom in. See, I'm using this camera here while SSJ watches on this camera there. Hello. I'm waving through the camera. He's on there. Hi. So, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a different bunch of different angles coming out here. I'm going to try to zoom in. Uh, SSJ, I'm zooming in on my camera just for details and spinning around, giving it a rotation. So, what do you think of the alternative line? Um, you, you only have one? Yeah, well, I have Skyward. Uh oh. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Okay. Hold on a second. Alright. How far you got? How far have you gotten on that uh, cocktail there? I'm about halfway through. <laughs> All right. So, question was how 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 do you feel about the? I haven't eaten dinner or anything today. Well, there you go. So, yeah, that will do it. There you go. In danger there. So, uh, alternative versus. Do you have any of the vinyl tech? Yeah, I have a few. I yeah. have a couple two or three. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I really like Alternity better because, because uh, oh, I fucked around with the uh, the Kiss players convoy yeah, figure. Yeah. And I really do not like that one at all. Oh, well, Kiss players are you know just all plastic. What? Kiss players are just all plastic. Oh, well, just besides the material mm. they're made out of, mm. I putting them back together to vehicle mode is a pain in the fucking ass. Mm. It takes like to, you, have to have, you have to fucking have zen like patience to mm. put them together because unless you get it just right everything is just going to be fucked up looking. Yeah. But while with Alternity you can just fucking play around with it and you know the transformations are I mean are very simple like you know the doors underneath the doors there's that little piece that, yeah. you know, connects yeah. everything together, yeah. you know, that's very similar, but just the overall experience in alternative figures, uh, you get a more satisfying, more clean looking robot mode, mm. and while still having a very realistic looking vehicle mode, while with alternative and biotechs, uh, usually the robot modes were sacrificed in most cases. Some of them not quite, but most of them had like a Weird. Yeah, piece of that's true. Fit, like, Especially like Convoy. Con. Uh, yeah. yeah, he he had big ass fucking shoulders and funky legs and shit. Yeah. 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 It, it just didn't work all that well. Well, most of, and the, it, even when it did look, they look so bulky and just yeah, kind of clumsy looking. Yeah. Well, with most of the alternatives, they all look pretty sleek and yeah, very that, yeah. athletic. I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna say the same. Thing. So yeah, I mean, but uh, on the downside of the alternative, I think they they have a lot more plastic, and they are a little bit more fragile. Uh, I think they in, in their cost. I, I don't know how much they cost in the states. What do they cost in the states to get them imported? Um, I think it. Well, I didn't pay t for to have any of mine imported because it was through a, a, a sponsorship that mm -hmm. I got them. But I believe if it, if I were to uh, buy them, it would have been like along the lines of sixty bucks. Yeah, for one figure here in Japan, they're running thirty-seven eighty, thirty-seven eight, and that's with the that's with the exchange rate as it is now. I mean, right now, I think the dollar's about. 20% less than the yen. Yeah, the dollar, yeah. The dollar is really yeah. weak right now. Yeah. Like, just to import the upcoming masterpiece, Rodman's Convoy, yeah. is going to be about 200 bucks. Yeah, there you go. American. Yeah. But while, in the, while in Japan, you're probably going to get it for like 137 I think. Yeah, and then plus a discount at the shops or whatever, you might get it, uh, maybe. So... Yeah, so yeah, the dollar really is weak, and so you're looking at importing these things at a really high cost. You know, so it's very expensive to live in America and be and be buying Japanese transformers. Yeah, exactly. So I'm in one sense lucky living here in Japan, but 
even in Japan, this shit's fucking forty bucks or fifty bucks. If I, I'm I'm getting that at thirty seven eighty because I'm going to a discount shop. These this shit is fucking expensive, you know. So or even even though they're they are really well made, my, what my biggest uh, qualm with uh, the Skyward particular. Are the doors? Yeah, I was gonna say door. They fall off. But yeah, it's a very weak ball joint. That's yeah. what pisses me off yeah. the most about that figure. Uh, yeah, I was transforming this guy just before I made this video. That I just I just said fuck it. I can't transform him with the doors on. You know, you just gotta take the doors off. So and yeah. One thing I just—it's very kind of uh, very nitpicky about. Just a whole, you know, Starscream, Thundercracker, Skyward mold, mold for Alternity. Uh -huh. They're cars, right? Yeah. So, and, but, the, you know, they're sinkers, they're supposed to be jets. Mm. Why did they put, try to put so much effort into, like, making them have jet-like features, like, such as those little flip-out wings on yeah. robot mode? And it has a lame alternative vehicle mode where you can actually take those, some wings, like, flip it out on the bottom to turn the car into, like, a flying car. <laughs> If they're going to spend so much time trying to give a car jet-like features, why didn't they just make it a, a miniature jet? jet? Yeah, because I th I think the scale issues. I'm just I'm just guessing scale issues and licensing. I'm thinking that's I think that's what they're going with. I'm just guessing because they did the Suzuki Swift, they did the Nissan what GT. So I'm, I'm thinking they have some licensing agreements. This is just my guess. With car manufacturers and stuff like that. And they, so the, my, my door, Thundercracker door just popped off. Right there. There you go. So I'm taking off the doors. <laughs> These ball joints suck. Also Thundercracker ball Especially joints. Aren't the doors die cast metal? Yeah, they are. They're, they are very... Yeah, so yeah. If you have a die cast and you already have a very loose ball, ball joint, yeah. that just has bad yeah. times written all over it. Yeah. So, I mean, the door itself is plastic, but the ball joint here is, of course, plastic. The, the But the door, the frame is metal, so... But, yeah. I'm about three quarters of the way through this drink. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm trying to transform him off off camera here, but. <laughs> Not this time, Kyle. <laughs> he won't get you this time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe <laughs> next. <laughs> I'm trying to get this fucking guy apart. Wow, I don't know what's going on, but I. All I'm seeing is just a pixelated mess. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this might be, uh, because the Skype says it's on uh, on low, f slow function. So. So, should we pause it again and restart? Uh, turn turn off video, then turn it back on. Turn off what? Turn off video, then turn it back on. Okay, let's see. I don't know how to do it. End call. I'm going to end call. Oh, turn off video. Okay. Okay, and then turn on video. Oh, there we go. That seemed to work. Did that improve the quality? Yeah, much better. Okay. That's nice. All right, my 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 camera is reading warning, warning, but. You're gonna be wasted, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. Oh, I know it. I know it. Trust me. <laughs> That's it. And his arm ripped off also. There we go. My head's starting to feel numb. Okay, I have no arms on my Sky a Thundercracker now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to transform him quickly here. I mean, I, I really like the joints as far as uh, the legs and stuff go. They, the, what I really thought was clever is how they turned the seats into like those missile pods. Ah, uh, yeah. Orders. I always really like, thoroughly enjoyed that part. Mm. But I asked this in my review of Skywarp: Is this a real vehicle? And I'm thinking, I was just, I was gonna mention, I think I saw this at the Tokyo Auto Show, 
about a year ago or so. It was maybe it was two years. I can't remember when, but I think it's I think it is a real vehicle because I, I was look looking at uh, at uh, the uh, what's a Lotus and uh, yeah, the Lotus were really really tiny. But and yeah, some of these things are like, what the fuck is that? And, and you know what I should do is I should just go through my old videos and pull out the Tokyo in the Tokyo Motor Show video. I think maybe if some of you remember, I had the uh, Mr. Garrison uh, anal car thing. If anybody remembers any of my Tokyo Motor Show videos, <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> What the fuck car was that? That was fucked up, wasn't it? <laughs> what I always loved about that South Park episode is the look on the child's face as he as he's about to be put in. <laughs> it's like holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe South Park went to raping children in the ass. <laughs> you can't believe it, or like. It's like it's about time. <laughs> uh, well, they get away with that, but they can't say Muhammad. Yeah, that's right. So. That's fucking retarded. You know? Yeah. It's you know, I can't believe. Yeah, I can believe it, but it's I just find it fucking disgusting that people will kill another person for, you know, drawing a picture of something. You know, or it's fucking retarded. Uh, you know, and that, I shouldn't even use that word retarded because it's an insult to people with, you know, mental diseases, but... Because we don't want to offend the retards. That's right, but, I mean, it's more well, offensive it's to... Not, it's not okay not to even say retards, just referring to them? Well, I think it, I think it's... Retards are smarter than the fucking, fucking people who kill people based on fucking... Yeah, a retard that eats his own poop, I, I think, is smarter than someone that blows himself up over a yeah. retail. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I, that's why I'm saying it's an injustice. Well, I think if I call someone fucking retarded, that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, compared to calling them fucking a suicide bomber or something like that, right? <laughs> then you're a fucking dumbass of fucking... That's fucking down syndrome to the ass. Yeah, 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 exactly. So... That's what I'm saying, you know. It's an insult to retard to call him fucking retarded. So, Thundercracker looks pretty cool. I'm going to rotate him around before my battery dies here. But, I mean, I know it dropped his back and his wings and shit, but looks pretty nice. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see it, but you can't see the quality that you know the blue does look really nice it looks very metallic it is it is it is it's very it's it's just like painting them metallic blue i really like these uh, you know you know sky blue kneecaps i mean i i you know I, I wasn't thinking he would go sky blue but it's a kind of blue that like if you shine the right type of light mm. on it it turns looks purple no, oh, right. well, if I shine the purple line on it, it might. But it, it, you know, I was, you know, I, I was thinking they could have gone darker with it, you know, but they went lighter with it, and you know, I don't mind. I, you know, look at this. Uh, 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 SSJ, you won't be able to see the 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 head details. I'm gonna do it on on my little camera here, but you can. He's got. Oh, oh shit. He's got. Purple, you know, what face flaps or something? I don't know what you would call that. But uh, Spin yeah, that's right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. So basically, you're getting just a repaint of it, <laughs> dude. Be careful with that. I'm being careful. Yeah. So I think. Uh, as far as this review goes, you're, it's, I just wanted to show you the the paint differences and the and the 